The ACLU wants to put an end to the state's new school voucher program, that program available to any family with kids attending public schools. Those who qualify receive up to 5,000 bucks. Over 2,500 parents already have applied in the last month, but the ACLU is jumping in. They're filing a legal challenge against the program. Organization saying it violates a state amendment by using public money for religious institutions. Our legal panel now joins us, David Schwartz, Keisha Heaven, both defense attorneys, former prosecutors. Good to see you both. David, 37 states have these so-called blame provisions saying can't use taxpayer money for religious purposes. Um, Nevada's one of them, Colorado's another, the list goes on and on. Uh, so you know, did this voucher program violate the Constitution? I, I think it's pretty clear on its face that it does violate the Constitution. You cannot use state funds to fund a for a secular purpose for a religious school you just you just you just can't do it it's uh it's on the face against the constitution you know uh keisha the colorado supreme court uh just a couple of months ago examined a fairly similar voucher program they too have one of these provisions can't spend taxpayer money on religious institutions and they struck it down as a violation of the constitution isn't this going to go the same way well, Greg, as you know, every state is different. But when you look at the federal case that dealt with this same issue, it was deemed constitutional. And I feel in this particular case, they're not saying, okay, to all the religious schools, we're going to get funding so that you can accept students. Or they're not targeting students who only want to go to religious schools. The main purpose of this law is to allow students to have a better education. And if that student or their parent decide, okay, we're going to send them to a religious school, it's not necessarily funding the school, it's helping the student. You know, Keisha brings up a good point. The U.S. Supreme Court addressed voucher programs in the famous Cleveland School voucher case. Seems like yesterday, but it was actually in 2002. I looked at it again today. It said, the Supreme Court said, look, three things. If there is a valid secular purpose, that is to help poor children who are trapped in these failing schools, then it doesn't violate the First Amendment. Second of all, if it's religiously neutral, that is, they have an alternative they can enroll in other schools. And third, um, there are uh, non-sectarian schools that are available as well. So how is this case going to end up in the Supreme Court? Because we have the Nevada, we have the Nevada Constitution here, and it's clearly a violation of the Nevada Constitution. But you the cannot, Supreme Court and, 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 all the rules. And Keisha, you make a great argument. She's a great lawyer. But the bottom line is, it doesn't matter if, yeah, the main purpose is education and a little bit will go towards religious. It doesn't matter. Sure. If any, if a dime goes towards religious, uh, a religious school or a secular education, See, the then Court it it doesn't matter. say nickels and dimes, it's okay. Just as large, as long as predominantly right. the majority of the taxpayer money isn't being spent on religious purposes. And, and as the Supreme Court case stated, these, this is not the only option. There are other alternatives. Not every student is going to go to a religious school. Right. So that makes a big point. And I think that, again, okay, Nevada has its own laws, but right. the Supreme Court case is going to have rulings or a precedence over that. But they weren't ruling on the Nevada law. That's the bottom line. They were not ruling on the Nevada Constitution. That's why we have the state courts but in the state of Nevada to rule on that. the same principles apply? Absolutely. The, the same principles may apply, but they were not ruling on this particular Constitution that, that, that they have in Nevada. Well, once and it's it goes pretty up, clear on its face. But if it goes up to the Supreme Court, I feel that they're going to rule in the same way because it's the same uh, issue. The Supreme Court would be hard-pressed to reverse themselves, wouldn't they? And they don't even like to distinguish their own cases. Yeah, but it, on the face of it, it's clearly a violation. Every state has, has their own constitution, and it could go over and beyond the U.S. Constitution, and clearly on, on this particular uh, case, it's in violation. It's in violation on the face, no matter how good the, the, the program I, I, I may be. I think it's a creative argument the state of Nevada is now making. Well, technically, the money isn't being spent by us, the state, but rather it's being spent by the parents, and thus we're not violating the Constitution that says state can't spend it for religion. Well, Greg, if you think of it this way, whenever the government funds any family or, or any program, they don't have control over where that money goes after they give it to someone. So right. if, if someone's on welfare and they use that money to donate something to their church, well, aren't how you can you track taxpayers it? taxpayers that way? Well, I mean, I, the that, purpose that. was to go to education if they're spending it on something else. That's not right. Right, but what I'm saying is there's no way for the government to control where that money goes once they give it to the person. Okay, gotta go. Okay. Um, thanks very much. Thank you. David, Thank you, Greg. Molly? A showdown may be heating up.